Cancer cells are very good at avoiding detection. They can often be found hiding in plain sight because they are our own cells that have gone bad. Cancer cells have the ability to block the immune cells from seeing them. This makes it difficult for our immune systems to find and destroy the rogue cells. While our immune system does a pretty good job at handling infections, cancer cells can be sneaky <laughs> and escape notice. The immune system is made up of several cell types, including neutrophils, lymphocytes, dendritic cells, and macrophages. Each one plays a different role in protecting your body. New research has been helping us understand how we can improve the tools our immune system naturally gives us, empowering them to find and eliminate cancer. Once our immune system can recognize the cancer cells for what they are, they can target those cells for termination. When the immune system's T cells are blocked from attacking tumor cells, they can be unblocked with new drugs called checkpoint inhibitors, allowing them to recognize and destroy the cancer cells. In the case of prostate cancer, researchers are currently making vaccines targeted against the patient's own tumor cells in an effort to have the immune system recognize them and kill them. Some viruses create mutations that can cause cancer. New vaccines are now being developed to kill those viruses, like the vaccines we already have for HPV and hepatitis C. Another approach to help the immune system control the tumor cells is to change the neighborhood they live in, making it less conducive to their growth. Changing the neighborhood doesn't mean you have to move to another town. What it does mean is you can make your body less hospitable for cancer cells. This is done with exercise, healthy diet, stress reduction, and sometimes even drugs. So in conjunction with chemotherapy, hormone therapy, surgery, and radiation, immunotherapy is a new tool being investigated to treat breast cancer. New treatments are being developed and tested that we hope will help the body identify cancer cells and eliminate them before they can cause damage. This approach holds a lot of promise for both the possible prevention of cancer and for making treatments more effective. Inpatient Science is a video series for you, your family, and friends to better understand breast cancer and the choices that you have to make. If you want to find out more information or to support the foundation, go to DrSusanLoveResearch.org and help us end breast cancer once and for all.